What's going on everybody? Welcome to today's first video. In today's first video, we're gonna take a look at Ethereum and see what it's doing on the hourly chart, the daily chart, the weekly chart, and also the Ethereum Bitcoin chart to see if we can find any clues on what is gonna happen next for Ethereum. So let's not waste any more of your guys' time and jump straight on into the video here. So as we look on the hourly chart to start, we can see that Ethereum did break out of this uh, head, I'm sorry, this cup and handle pattern that we had drawn on in stream last night, right? So we did have that cup and we had that handle here, and we actually broke out out of our neckline last night, right? Which is good to see. And what did we do? We actually pumped out of the cup and handle pattern, came back down, back tested our old cup and handle resistance, right? Back tested it as support, and then continued up. So abs absolutely perfect execution there on the charts for Ethereum on the hourly chart. Now, what is happening currently right now? Well, you can see that we're kind of getting a rejection a little bit higher. Obviously, we don't have very many Fibonacci targets left in the short term. So what we got to look at here is our measured move out of our cup and handle pattern. So if we actually take our measured move, which is the bottom of the cup, right at, at the lowermost point, and we put it at our breakout point, which is right here, that gives us a breakout target for Ethereum at approximately about 20, right around 2,900, about 2,875 to be exact. Now, are we going to reach that level in the short term? Well, there's a lot of different things going on. If we go over to the Bitcoin chart real quick, Bitcoin's currently in a symmetrical triangle, right? And if we know if Bitcoin breaks down, full disclaimer, if Bitcoin breaks down from this symmetrical triangle, it's most likely going to pull Ethereum down with it. We know that's how the market kind of works, right? Bitcoin kind of leads the market. So like I said, if we do say Bit, uh, Bitcoin break down from this current symmetrical triangle it's in, we probably see Ethereum get dragged down as well. So full disclaimer there, this is obviously assuming that Bitcoin gets a bounce back to the upside. But nevertheless, if Bitcoin takes a dip, we could see Ethereum maybe come back down, back test this, uh, back test this support again, and then continue up after Bitcoin kind of cools off a little bit, right? So that's what we're looking at in the shorter term timeframes for Ethereum. Just watch, kind of watch Bitcoin to see if, if uh, Ethereum needs to come back a little bit uh, to retest this again or if Bitcoin uh, continues in its symmetrical triangle or actually breaks out, we probably see Ethereum hit this target of 2,900. Now, switching on over to the Ethereum weekly chart, we don't have much left as far as Fibonacci targets left for, to go for uh, Ethereum. We can see we just broke right through that 1.618 uh, Fibonacci, which was approximately at about 23, uh, really 2,400. We have now pretty firmly broken that, um, not on a weekly close basis yet, but we are now fully about a $200 above that level. And you can see our next target is our 2.618 Fibonacci sitting right at there at about 3,683. Or you could call it right around 3,700 uh, if you want to be a little more uh, rounded, I guess you could say. So 3,700 could be our next target there for Ethereum on the weekly chart. If you guys were interested in what was next after that, a 3.618 Fibonacci target is it about 5,173. These these are important because this is usually when, um, you know, that the big market movers, the big traders usually uh, look at these and take some profits at these levels. Um, you can see the last time we went up to the 1.618 Fib, uh, you can see we did get a big buy up and got rejected right back down. So these tend to be uh, some decent dead take profit levels if you guys are looking to take some profits. I'm more of a hodler, but hey, you guys do what you want to do, right? You guys do you, right? That's what I said. Now, switching over to the Ethereum Bitcoin chart. Once again, guys, we were talking about, we've been talking about this for months now, but when Ethereum hit the bottom of this, right? I told you guys Ethereum was going to get a bounce against Bitcoin and no, no one really wanted to listen to me. Everyone, all the FUD was real against Ethereum. Oh, Ethereum's dead, Ethereum's that. And what do you know? Uh, we actually went back up and are now about to retest the top of the channel. Once again, on the Ethereum Bitcoin ratio, exactly um, like I thought we were going to do. And like I've been talking about for months, go check all my Ethereum videos. I've been saying this exact same thing was gonna happen and we did it. Uh, now we are getting pretty close to the top here. So does this mean that when Ethereum hits the top of this, we're gonna see a big rally for Bitcoin? Definitely could be, but we definitely could be seeing, you know, another week or two of Ethereum uh, catching up on Bitcoin, um, unless we see a continued crazy week like we've seen this week, uh, where we just go up and test this like right away. So uh, expect maybe another week, maybe two weeks, depending on how long it takes us to get up to the top of this. And then once we get to the top of this, look for Bitcoin to start catching up on Ethereum um, in the short term here, um, if if history was to repeat. But if we actually look back in time, there has been a couple of times we hit the top of this and actually have gone sideways here um, where Ethereum can still run for an extra couple weeks. See right there, we went 
kind of grinded against that resistance for a couple weeks. Same thing here, grinded again resistance. This looks like for about like a month and a half. So it doesn't necessarily mean we have to hit it and come straight back down. We could stay up at those levels and kind of have Ethereum still gain on Bitcoin in a slower, more methodical pace for a couple weeks, okay? So that, that's really the Ethereum Bitcoin chart. And that's really all I have today. Um, in the short term, watch for Ethereum to bounce up to this uh, $2,900 level if we don't see Bitcoin take a big dump. If we see Bitcoin take a big dump from the symmetrical triangle, I probably would uh, expect Ethereum to follow it uh, back down to retest this, uh, maybe back down at like 2,400 again if Bitcoin dips. All right, so that's the video today, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'll be coming out with a second video shortly. Make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.